Hi. Hi. Don't you just hate it when people drop in unannounced? Not when it's you. Come on in. Mm, thanks. I uh, wanted to bring you these newspaper reviews of uh, the series we did on date rape. I'm actually getting quite a few letters from women across the country congratulating us on notifying the public about these men. Well, this looks very impressive. You must be very proud. Oh, well, I am, but it was your idea. And your execution, but I won't mind taking some credit. Sit down. Yes. So is this why you came by to show me these? Yeah. I'm mm, not entirely. I didn't think so. Is there something upsetting you? Julia, I wish I was just upset. Truth is, I'm kind of scared. I don't know what to tell you. Miss Benedict is indisposed, and I've got a hundred things of my own to deal with. Miss Benedict insisted on overseeing every detail, and now Miss Benedict is indisposed? Yes, I'm afraid so. Now, I know you can look after everything yourself beautifully. You will have a triumph, Ari. Well, I'll do my best. Cassandra, what is wrong? Mason, the place looks beautiful. You're early. <laughs> Yeah, well, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the security arrangements you're planning. The security arrangements have already been made. Uh -huh. Why do you want to talk about security? Uh, I just want to make sure nothing goes wrong tonight. Why? Is there something specific you're worried about? Well, actually, our house was broken into a couple of times in the last week. Eden seems to think some fan may be stalking her, so, of course, I'd like to play things really safe here tonight. Of course, make whatever arrangements you think are necessary. Thank you. Did whoever it was steal anything? No, it doesn't seem like it. He may have been interrupted on both occasions, but she was pretty shaken up by it. She still is, actually. I'm not surprised. Yeah. A fan? Yeah, that's what she thinks, and it uh, seems possible, I guess. Well, if it is some psycho, I wish this were not a masquerade party. My sentiments, exactly. This is Mr. Wolf. I was uh, wondering if the costume I ordered is ready for me to pick up. Good, I'll be down in a little while. I shouldn't have said anything. You have enough problems of your own. Eden, without me stop that. Mom. Now just tell me. It'll be good for both of us. You can get it off your chest, and I can stop thinking about my own problems for a minute. Well, as long as I'm doing you a favor. Lately, I've been bothered by a man. A fan, most likely, but I'm not sure. Somebody's bothering you? I think it was the same guy who broke into the house when Cruz was away. You know who it was? Somebody broke into the house again last night. And they didn't take anything like the last time, which I think is really odd. It isn't odd, it's terrifying. I would rather have somebody come in and take things rather than a psychotic walk and just to look around. Well, I mean, we've been doing a series on date rape. I mean, sometimes, I mean, it's not unusual to hit a nerve in a viewer and they become obsessed. I mean, and Cruz knows all about it. He's handling it. I'm sure he's going to figure out who it is. Even if it is somebody who is upset about the series, you could be in trouble. Why don't you take the kids and, and stay with your folks for a little bit? No, I don't, I don't want to do that. And I have Cruz. He's around. There's just something else that's been happening that I can't explain. What? This is really wild. I've been having these dreams about this man. So then you did see him? No, I don't know that I saw him. I don't know anything. What kind of dreams? Just that I know him in my dreams. But, but I swear to you, I, I don't have a recollection of how or why or when I could have ever met him. Well, what does Cruz think? Well, I haven't told him about the dream part. I just thought it was a little reminiscent of when Robert came to town. You know, I didn't want to tell him about it because I thought it would remind him of Robert. I didn't want to get into all that. But I think the strangest thing is that I feel like I need to keep it from him. 
You see? I told you it's weird. Do you have a description of the man? Yes, and I've had some flyers drawn up and we've circulated them, but so far no one has reported seeing him. Have you any reason to think that he might show up here tonight? I wish I knew, Mason. I just, I just want to be prepared in case. Right. Well, try and keep a low profile. I don't want the opening marred by any violence, all right? We've waited too long for this night. At least I have. Do what I can. Uh, we'll try to keep out of the way as much as possible, but at some point in time, we are going to need to get a look at some of the faces behind the masks. And you don't want to wait for the unmasking at midnight, either. I don't think I can. Anyway, like I say, we'll, we'll keep most of the guys outside, and uh, hopefully dis the disruption will be uh, at a minimum. All right. I've got to say, I hope your suspect doesn't show up. I don't want a gunfight for the opening, a gunfight between the police and this wanted criminal. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I, uh, Inspector, will you excuse us for a second? Yeah, of course, I've got a lot to do. Okay. See you later. All right, what is it, Mike? We just got a call from Washington about the flyer that you sent out on Andre Wolf. Did they come up with anything? No, sir, not yet. We're going to run it through Interpol. Okay. Will you do me a favor and get the guys together on a briefing before this thing starts? If uh, our friend does show up tonight, I want to make sure we're ready and waiting for him. All right. Thanks. He didn't frighten me as much as I get this nagging feeling that he isn't lying. That he does know me. I mean, that scares me to death. Aiden, you've got to sit down and talk this through with Cruz. Yeah, maybe. It's not a good idea to keep this to yourself. You always share everything with him. Not everything. I do keep a couple of things for myself. Are you the uh, connoisseur on the philosophy of marriage now? Don't ask me about marriage. I'm just I don't know kidding. anything. <laughs> I just need to figure out what's really going on. I mean, I can't tell him the whole story until I figure out what the whole story is. Then you just tell him what you do know. Julie, I just don't know. I mean, I just feel so much tension. I just feel like everything's coming down around me. I... I'm not surprised that you feel all this tension, but you really got to do something. Oh. Oh. Hello. Hello. Hi, Gus. Did you use your costumes? Uh, yes, I stopped by to pick him up. <clears throat> oh. oh, that reminds me. I really got to get going. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to be not be ready for tonight. I'll see you at the party. And hey, listen, listen, yeah. Don't worry about those dreams. I'm sure you're under a lot of pressure, and that's what's causing it. Okay. Thanks for the sympathetic ear. Anytime. Okay. I'll see you later. Tonight. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Bye, Augusta. Bye. 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 Lance. Uh, I want to post somebody at the door, watching everyone who comes in, and if he sees anyone who looks even remotely like the suspect, I want to know about it immediately. Sure. Okay. Is everything set? Uh, uh, well, I think we've done as much as we can. My men are coordinating with the hotel security staff, and I will have a couple of guys inside undercover as well. Good. That's pretty impressive. I hope so. I hope it what are you doing here? What are you doing here? I thought we were going to meet at home. I came by to check on my dear brother and see if he and the station manager are all in sync about our TV covers this evening. You didn't need to bother. I just talked to him. He's going to be covering the arrival of the guests. Then we let your crew in to tape the actual party. Hmm. Now, if I slipped you a sizable bribe, would you assure me a favorable yes. PR? I have such concern for the environment, such wonderful characters. No so way. I am a guest at this party. If I can't bribe you, what good is our relationship? <laughs> I'll make a bribe. <laughs> everything seems to be on schedule. Well, Mason, everything looks lovely. Yeah, Thank you. Does. Where's Cassandra? I was sure she'd be here. Now, that's the question of the hour. Where is Cassandra? She's doing her laundry. She's skipping town. She's... I'm sorry, it's just the nerves talking. I expect her presently. Is anything wrong? No, of course not. I have a lot to do still. <laughs> if you'll excuse me, I'll see you tonight. Okay, okay. good luck. Yeah, thank, thank you, Mason. What is the deal with Cassandra? What's the deal with you? What are you doing here? I'm beefing up hotel security just in case your friend Andre decides to show up tonight. Well, thanks. That'll make me feel a lot better. Me too. You know, we gotta get going. We're having drinks at my father's house before we get dressed for the party. I'm ready to leave if you are. I can't wait to see you in your costume. To watch you put in his <laughs> Sorry, we're late. Hi, so you're not late. Yeah, sure. I'm glad you're here. Hi. Hi. 
Oh, did you guys bring your costumes? You're going to change here? Uh, we're going to put them on at home. Oh, okay. Well, I can't wait to see you all dressed up. <laughs> Trust me, you can wait. No, you're going <laughs> to look wonderful. I'm excited about this party. Give us some time to get our mind off everything that's happened. Why? What's wrong? No, nothing. I, I meant, you know, everything that's happened the past few months. Oh. You're quiet tonight. What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. I guess the cop in me gets a little itchy when I know there's going to be that many people wearing that much jewelry in one place. Well, Mason's added on a lot of security people, a lot of extras, and it's going to be like Fort Knox around here. Well, Cruz has added a couple of his men onto the job, too. You think that was necessary? Well, I don't know. Probably can't hurt. I just wish it weren't a masquerade. It makes it uh, easy for an odd person to slip in. I don't know why you keep talking like that. There's going to be hundreds of people, television cameras. Only a madman would try something tonight. That's what's got me concerned. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Where did you find it? I found it in the back of our safe. That is an impressive piece of ice. Yes, it is. <laughs> I haven't seen it in years. I'd forgotten about it. Well, let, me, let me put it on. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my Mason, God. Mason, you can take this with you, yeah. please. Oh, be nice, Mason. Lift the hair up, woman. Oh, no. <laughs> be gentle, Mason. That's you never were when I was a kid. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That is really beautiful. Mm -hmm. Um, like they say in the movies, who is that masked man? 